Hi there, welcome to my video on how to upsell digital products, courses, and coaching on Thinkific. So in this video, I'm going to show you several different ways that you can do upsells. Um, these are all very um, easy to set up and it really depends on sort of your comfort level and how you want to do the upsells. Um, the point I'm gonna make is that all of this is done within Thinkific and while there are other software and integrations that you can include, I think this is the most um, easiest way to sort of get started and gain momentum with upsells um, so that later on as your upsells become um, more, um, uh, become more um, expanded and become uh, booked out uh, and you get more sales, then you can sort of uh, customize the integration and add software that may sort of automate the process a little bit better. Uh, but for now, uh, if you're just getting started and you want to just try this out with Thinkific, um, one of the easiest way I suggest is that at the end of your course, what you can do is add a text lesson. Uh, so I made this as a text lesson, which is saying thank you and I have a coaching offering. And so this is just a very simple text message that text lesson that I've customized to say thank you and I have a one-on-one -on -one and or group coaching offering with this course. And so the idea is specifically um, you're upselling students after they've taken the course uh, to say, well, you've taken the course, you've done the work, but maybe now you need a little bit more help and support. So this is where you can do this two ways. You can have students um, fill out um, either a Google form so that you can pre-screen uh, students since coaching is very time intensive and it requires a lot of focus and you may not have a lot of time to offer many, many students group coaching or individual coaching, you may decide you wanna be selective about who you're offering your time to. So you could add a link to a Google form and ask some pre-screener questions because maybe students have been through the entire course but they haven't really done the assignments then you might decide, well, I don't think that's a good candidate for coaching because they haven't really done the work. Um, but if you decide they've done the work and they seem really excited and interested and they would be a good candidate for your coaching program, then uh, you can send them the link to check out and pay for a coaching package. Now, the idea here is that you can add the link um, like a Google form or a type form and include a uh, set of questions and then you can also include like a Calendly link um, at the end of a form say, okay, thanks for filling out this form uh, book a 15 minute discovery call with me to uh, learn more and see if this is the right fit for both of us. So that you're kind of allowing yourself to systemize and um, put everything in one place and it allows you to ask questions and then um, put a link so that people can book a time to talk with you. Uh, so that is just the first way to uh, set up a coaching uh, offering at the end of a course. Now, the other way that you can do this is um, in the after purchase flow. This is a feature design within Thinkific so that once a student purchases this course, uh, you can send them a message that says thank you and um, here are some additional products and or um, ebooks that you might be interested in purchasing. So let's take a look at the after purchase flow. So right now I've created this uh, new coaching flow. And the idea is that this is for people who bought the course, but now decide, you know, they want to have coaching alongside while they take the course. So I can offer sort of different um, coaching packages, uh, depending on what my price is. So I've set up here different sort of price points and I've given this flow a name. So what I uh, go on to continue to show you is that the message can be customized to say, uh, thank you. And here are additional products that might interest you. And the idea is this is where I'm going to upsell. So I'm gonna say additional uh, course and um, ebook products to say these are additional courses and ebooks that I think you might like after buying this course. So I can uh, search for the course, so I can search coaching. Um, 
And so I can add a coaching uh, course. Um, I've already added one here, but just to show you again how it works. Um, now, if I wanted to do something a little bit different and say, I want to offer you not just coaching, but offer this assessment uh, course, because I think this will be a good complimentary course to uh, building your first business, then I can also add that to my um, thank you uh, flow after the purchase. And then once I'm done, I want to click save. And then here's where I want to preview the thank you page to see how I like it and how it looks. So the idea is that um, these buttons will be customized and the products aren't showing up right now because uh, the products are hidden. Um, but the idea is that, um, and there's nothing, there's no content in those um, coaching because those are uh, demos and I just made them uh, on a whim. But the idea is once you um, are uh, purchased, once you purchased it, you'll get a receipt and then you can click on the button to say start learning uh, for additional products and you will see um, the uh, Hey there, link. in this video, I'm going and then the other way that you can set up upsells is through your landing page. So this is the course that I'm just demoing, demoing right now. And what I can do when I'm building the landing page is add upsells. And this is uh, really neat because I think uh, it gives you a lot of different room to add different products. So as you see, this is my uh, landing page. It shows my curriculum called Action FAQs. Um, and the different pricing options. But I love that there is this um, upsells uh, section. So here is where I can then add that um, assessment course. And so in this, uh, I can customize the title. Right now it says additional products. I can say, um, check out these other courses. And I can say, these are complimentary, uh, these complement these um, courses, complement your purchase very well. And then um, now you'll see it will have a heading and subheading. And then the idea is then you can customize the layout, um, padding. Um, I'm not super like uh, great with CSS and front end design, but the, I think the padding is in terms of this um, border, as you see border here and the blue border around this box. So uh, you can definitely customize and remove that if um, you don't like it. But the main thing um, in designing your landing page is adding these upsells. So like I said, I've added uh, this assessment product, um, but I can also add additional products. And so that's only one right now. And then I can add my coaching as a second block and um, look for coaching, um, look for coaching, yeah. Coaching, let me save. And then as you see, I have a coaching course uh, as well. So let me save these. And as you can see, then my landing page, when someone is interested in this, buying this course, they will see all the different pricing options to buy it. And then at the end, they will see the upsells, um, the assessment course, and then um, the coaching. It's not showing up right now because the uh, coaching is hidden. Uh, but let me uh, save this. So uh, what, what happened was uh, that uh, the coaching course was hidden, so I've unhidden it. Um, and so you can see that there's all these different upsells and my coaching upsell is now visible. And remember, these buttons can be customized in terms of the word. So I have one that says sign up now, um, and I could have another one that says buy now. So. Uh, I hope this helps and uh, let me know if you have questions, comments, feedback. Uh, let me know how I can help. Uh, give this video a like, uh, subscribe, and let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Uh, thanks for watching and talk to you all soon.